हेलो एवरीवन सो दिस क्वेश्चन केम टुडे इन सी एस आई आर दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन एग्जाम सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वांट टू से डैट सो मेनी ऑफ सो मेनी क्वेश्चन केम फ्रॉम द केमिकल बॉन्डिंग पोर्शन सो दिस इज वन ऑफ देम नाउ सी इन द क्वेश्चन वी हैव वी हैव बीन आज टू कैलकुलेट द पैरामीडल डेट वी हैव टू चूज डेट आउट ऑफ दीज स्पेसिस विच हैव पैरामीडल शेप नाउ सी this is a very 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 easy question now this will hardly take your 2 seconds now now see the so3 okay we have been studying from the class 12th that okay i can understand we don't know the shape of chlorate ion okay i can understand but so3 ion we are studying from the 12th standard that this so3 SO3 has a planar shape. Okay, I am writing the shape. So this is a sulfur. This has six valence electrons. Let's say this is one. This is two. This is three. okay. This is two, two, four, and six. Now oxygen takes two electron for the bonding. So just write oxygen. Okay, then. Now oxygen. Now oxygen. I am not talking about the steric number right now. Okay, so this is a shape of SO three, and this is a planar structure, and the angle we all know is one twenty degree. Okay, this is a very basic shape everyone know. Now how to apply in the question? Now see, we are asked to calculate the pyramidal shape. Now the fourth option is wrong. Okay, and now see in the third option there is SO three, so we don't need to check the Shape for the chlorate ion because these are given in the pair. So third option is wrong. Okay. Now second option. Again, SO three is given, so we are not bothering about the shape of the XeO three. Again, this is wrong answer. Now see, first option is the only option left. Now it is a correct answer. So it was a very easy question. This will give you marks. Okay. Now see the chlorate ion. Let's check the shape of this to this chlorate ion and XeO three. Now see how to calculate. Okay, so let's start with simple XeO three. Now xenon. Okay, xenon have how many electrons in the valence valence shell? Eight. Okay, inert gas configuration. So this is. Two electrons, two electrons, two electrons, six, and last two electrons. These are eight electrons. Now add oxygen. Okay, so this is oxygen. This is oxygen. One more oxygen. And this will be a lone pair. Okay. Now see. The geometry of the molecule is different from the shape of molecule. Okay, are you getting my point? Different geometry is a different concept, and the shape is different concept. When we talk about the shape, we don't consider the lone pair. Now see how to calculate the geometry and the shape. See, first of all, we have to calculate the steric number. The steric number, this is S. Steric number is equals to the sigma bond plus lone pair. Okay, so how many sigma bonds are there? This is one sigma, one pi. So one sigma, one sigma, one sigma. Okay, in double bond we have one sigma and one pi. So this is three sigma. And how many lone pair? This is one. So this is four. So when we have four steric number, that means the shape is tetrahedral. So okay, oh, I mean the geometry is tetrahedral. Sorry. So geometry is is tetrahedral. Okay. tetrahedral now see the geometry is tetrahedral okay but the shape is pyramidal okay now how to calculate just ignore the lone pair okay and the and see the shape of the molecule so it's a pyramidal like shape just consider it as ammonia okay this is nitrogen and these three are hydrogen and one lone pair okay we know all that geometry is tetrahedral but the shape is pyramidal so shape is pyramidal okay 
when we consider the shape we don't look at the lone pair now look at the chloridine let me adjust the angle okay fine chloridine okay cl o3 negative same chlorine has seven valence electron now this is negative charge that means eight valence electrons okay are you getting my point this is cl now cl has eight valence electrons again these are two electrons these are two electrons these are two and these are two so this is a double bond this is oxygen also this is oxygen and one is as a lone pair again steric number how much number of sigma bonds plus lone pair sigma bonds is one sigma one sigma one sigma this is three plus lone pair is one so this is four that means the geometry is tetrahedral are you getting my point now the shape again just don't look at the lone pair and the shape will be pyramidal so shape is pyramidal okay when we consider the shape we don't look at the lone pair so the first option is correct answer okay these two species has the pyramidal shape okay trigonal pyramidal shape now to give you to give you idea about the shape just consider i'm taking sf4 okay i'm not going into the vesper theory and chemical bonding i'm just writing the shape of this molecule this is sulfur this is fluorine okay this is fluorine this is fluorine this is fluorine okay are you getting my point and here one is lone pair so when we say what is the shape okay the geometry is tbp how just look okay so this is a tbp structure this is like this is fluorine this is fluorine and here is a lone pair and one more fluorine and one more fluorine okay the shape is the geometry is tbp as you can see two axial and three equatorial but the shape shape is seesaw because you just have don't you just don't look at the lone pair now what's the shape it's like a seesaw okay this is a just look at at this angle okay so this is like a seesaw okay so that's why when we look at the shape we don't consider the lone pair so i will meet you in the next video so stay tuned and subscribe to my channel and share the videos among your friends who have given exam today okay so thank you